Hey there, today we're going to talk about the payroll reporting functionality in the DaySmart Salon program. To navigate to the payroll screen, you're going to click on More, the More drop down up here at the top of the screen, and then you're going to click on the stack of dollars, which is the payroll icon, and that's going to pull up our payroll screen. Now, when you first get to it, it's going to tell us down here that payroll configuration is required. So let's start by going to the Wages and Commission screen in order to set up the payroll configuration. I can click on this little button down here, or underneath the name of the person logged in, I can click on this Wages and Commission right up here at the top of the screen. Now, the first thing you can do is you can go up here to where it says Profile Name, and you can actually add in a commission profile. So the way that this would work is you would go ahead and give it a name here, like so, and then you would give it a commission rate. So this would be a profile that could be applied to multiple employees to make setting up payroll a little easier. So I'll go into here, I will give it a commission rate, right? So I can set up a commission rate here. I can also, if I wanted to, because I have the uh, more advanced version of payroll, I could do a sliding scale, but let's do just a straight fixed rate for this profile. And then let's scroll down here. Let's go to product commission rate. I'll go ahead and give a commission rate here as well. And then once I've added in the two different types of commission I want for this profile, I can go ahead and hit save in order to save that profile in. Now down at the bottom, it's going to list all of my employees. I could click on the employee's name, and I could choose to either set up their own uh, hourly rate, service commission, and product commission, or I could choose from my profile. So I could choose my profile here, right? And it's going to set it as the stylist profile. It's going to automatically set the commission rates. But if I go back to no profile, I can then just go ahead and set those up manually. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to come down here. We'll choose this. Here we go. And we'll scroll down here a little bit further. And then we're going to go down here and we'll put in a commission rate here for products. All right. And then once we've added what we need, I'll go ahead and hit save at the bottom of the screen to save those, uh, uh, those changes that I made. Now, feel free to do that for the other employees. That way they're going to show up on the payroll report. And before we go ahead and run the payroll report, let's run through a couple of these other settings up at the top. There's a bonus and back bar option right here. If I click on that, I could actually choose to add a service. Let's choose this all over color service. And there's two things you can do on this screen. You can either choose to give someone a bonus, which is going to be an additional amount of money on top of their normal commission earned, or you could give them a back bar charge. This would be uh, subtracting an amount of money off of the cost of the product or service, I should say, uh, before the commission is applied. So if I went in here and I gave a $2 bonus, that would mean the person would get an extra $2 every time it's performed. If I added a $2 back bar charge, it would mean that it would be $50 minus the $2 before they got their commission uh, taken out. Now I could change that here by saying that I want this back bar calculator to be before or after uh, commission is calculated, depending on what I need. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the X key on this. And I'm going to click up here on the payroll settings, which is the last setting we're going to go through before we run the payroll report. You want to tell the system what the pay cycle frequency is. You can also calculate overtime wages here. Depending on what your local area requires, you can add in different criteria here in order to uh, make sure that you're meeting all the necessary requirements for you. And then down at the bottom, you can choose to base the commission off of either uh, the retail price or uh, the profit made. So. I'll go ahead and leave this at the retail, that's the most common. And now that I've added in my settings and my wages and commission, I'm ready to run this payroll report. So I'm gonna click on where it says history up at the top of the screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little plus sign here to go ahead and add in a payroll report. So I'll hit the plus sign. I will choose the series of dates that I wanna run it for. Uh, looks like it's got quite a range of days. Let's go ahead and just do this all the way through uh, the current day here. All right, so let's go into here, and then we'll hit Calculate. And there should be some totals in here for us to look at. All right, so you can see on John Jacobson, there's no wages. The wages would be the hours worked times the hourly rate. Uh, we don't have a commission rate here for the other employees are not earning any commission, but Jacobson has a $342 commission rate, and then there's also withheld tips. So what this does, it takes the hours worked times the pay rate, the commission, and then also the tips withheld and it totals them. There's a, there's a view details report here that gives you a more detailed breakdown. Of course, you can print this if you need to. 
Uh, and then also, if you go in here to view commission, it will give you a commission breakdown with all the different items sold and then how much the person was supposed to get for those different items total at, at the bottom. Uh, this could be printed as well. There also is a product commission breakdown here. And then of course, this can be exported out of the program uh, or it can be printed individually. Awesome. Really, that's uh, the payroll in a nutshell. Uh, the payroll reporting function is very useful to help calculate how much people are supposed to get paid. If you have any questions, please go ahead and reach out to us. And I hope this video helps. Have a great day.